How to solve hot air balloon problems? In June 1783, two French brothers, Joseph Montgolfier and Jacques Montgolfier, made the first practical hot air balloon 120 years before the aeroplanes were invented. Hot air balloons use the principle of buoyancy to float in the sky as boats float on the sea. Let's solve an example of hot air balloons. Question. A hot air balloon is ascending at the rate of 12 meter per second and is 51 meters above the ground when a package is dropped over the side. First part, how long does the package take to reach the ground? Second part, with what speed does it hit the ground? Solution. We are given that the initial velocity of balloon is 12 meter per second and height of balloon above the ground when the package is dropped, H1 is equal to 51 meter. The important thing students must observe here is that once the package is released from the balloon, the package will acquire the velocity of the balloon. This means that the package will ascend with an initial velocity of 12 meters per second in the upward direction until it comes to a complete stop at a maximum height then starts free falling towards the ground. The total time needed for the package to reach the ground will have include the time it takes for the package to ascend to maximum height and the time it takes the package to fall to the ground. Now, at maximum height, the package will have a velocity equal to zero. From the third equation of motion, we can write v square equal to u square plus 2as. Here, final velocity is zero, initial velocity 12 meter per second, displacement is h2 and acceleration due to gravity is minus 9.8 meters per second squared. In case you are confused about the application of signs to different variables, please watch the video on how to apply sign conventions in free fall to understand this better. So h2 equal to u squared by 2g. On substituting the given values, we get h2 equal to 7.35 meter. This is the maximum height to which package will ascend. Now, we will find the time it takes for the package to ascend 7.35 meter using v equal to u minus g t1 or t1 equal to u by g. On solving this, we get t1 equal to 1.22 seconds. Hence, 1.22 seconds is the time taken by the package to ascend 7.35 meter height. The package reaches the maximum height of h max from the ground which is equal to h1 plus h2. On substituting the values, we get maximum height equal to 58.35 meters. Now we will find the time it takes for the package to free fall from this height, which is given by minus h max equal to ut2 minus half gt2 square. Note here initial velocity is the velocity at the maximum height which is zero. Hence, t2 equal to square root of 2h max by g. On substituting the values, we get t2 equal to 3.45 seconds. Hence, the total time the package takes to reach the ground from the moment it's released from the balloon is t1 plus t2. On substituting the values, we get t equal to 4.67 seconds. Now, let's find the speed with which the package hits the ground. Using the first equation of motion minus v equal to u minus gt, here u is the initial velocity at the maximum height which is zero, hence v equal to gt. This is the speed with which the package hits the ground. This concludes our video on problems related to hot air balloons. Students must pay special attention to sign conventions and use the equation of motion while solving such problems. Please like, share and comment on the video and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. For more interesting and educational videos to earn while you learn, download Extra Class app from Google Play Store and get rewarded for studying.